What's up, everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival, and we got another day of living with the bandits. Uh, they they managed to die last night during the the night infected, so they're not with me today. But they'll be back. They always are. I ended up building these uh, bear fire barrels uh, mainly because I needed more uh, charcoal. If you build this, if you put in 8 wood, you get like 15 uh, charcoal out of it. So I kind of like using these if I'm actually going to be doing a lot of... Uh, making a lot of ammo. And I also did build a little cabin over here. Um, extended it out another row. I tried to put this uh, little cabin kind of even. But it was giving me issues... When you build on top of stuff, like if you look at this door, well, it's all right there, but earlier it was setting way down in. See how it's down? And I couldn't get it in or out of it, so I had to break that up, and then I had to put it on one of these stupid pillars, and then slowly bring it down, and it was just a pain in the ass, so it's not exactly straight, but it works. So now I got my NPCs up here. I moved my uh, my other workbench and my uh, saw machine. And then Scott likes to stand under here, and I have to jump out of my damn my tower onto my uh, my little house over here to get out. But it's just one of those problems you're going to have to deal with the, uh, your NPCs when you build something like this. Is how to keep them from going where you don't want them to go. Like I could probably put some uh, fencing to keep them just on this one platform. But they'll be alright. I ain't worried about it. But today we're going to go over the reloading bench, reloading ammo, and uh, all that nonsense. So we go into our build menu... And we scroll way down, and we're going to need uh, two copper ingots, two iron ingots, ten uh, wood planks, four gears, and a saw and a hammer. And it'll take 60 minutes, so we're just going to put that over here. I really wanted my NPCs up here because I need them to... I'm lazy. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm just, I just don't want to do all the, the crafting and crap for all this stuff. One of the first things we're going to have to do, and we can't have our NPCs do this, we got to do it ourselves. we got to go into uh, our crafting from our inventory, and we got to make gunpowder. So let me go ahead and uh, chop this up into uh, gunpowder, and I'll bring you right back. And this is a whole lot of time, so I'm going to have to do this in uh, short spurts, like 12 hours. But I kind of want to make sure I'm safe when I'm doing this. Alright, one thing that was kind of unusual when I came up here to sleep is a uh, infected spawned right on top of my blacks blacksmith station. So I've always thought that the infected spawn radius kind of sh shrinks down when you sleep. But that actually, you know, it I actually saw one spawn right there while I was sleeping. So you got to be careful when you sleep. And that's why I'm coming up here to uh, making all this gunpowder because I don't want to an infected accidentally spawn somewhere. All right, we are good. We got uh, three stacks of 64 and a stack of 16. I probably should have had them start uh, making some ammo. I think I got some more. Damn it. Some more gunpowder over here somewhere. Alright, we got our gunpowder, so now we're going to have to make our shell casings before we can use the reloading bench. Now this is where this confuses quite a few people. Now you go in here, and then you go over here to your ammo. Now I've got the weapons, just so I can kind of explain this a little bit better. Uh, the 12 gauge, that's explanatory, it's for the shotgun. Now this Cal 5 Space 4-5 cartridge... This is for your M4. 
Now, the normally a 545 cartridge is like an AK-74. It's a Russian round. It would never go in an M4, but I'm not. Just, there's so many mistakes in these these weapons that's really confusing to people. Like the 1911, or they call it a Colt 1191. In this game is normally chambered in a 45, so people think that this is the cartridge you need for it, but it's not. You need the 9mm, and a 1911 can be chambered in a 9mm. Um, but when we go over the reloading bench, we're going to have other issues as well. And then we got this 762 by 51 cartridge, which is like the NATO, basically the equivalent to a 308. And that goes for your hunting rifle. So that we have four, four ammo, four types of ammo for four weapons. We do not have the revolver in the game right now where we can make the ammo. So to make it, we need brass, one brass ingot, and uh, one low qual metal. And we'll just assign our, uh, we'll see if Scott will do it. We'll make some of this. Actually, I think Scott's stuck. And then, and I'm gonna do, where's Scott? Is he down here? All right, let's see if uh, Rachel will do it. Oh good, she teleported. She was like right over there. So now she's making the ammo. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this one myself. And then we're gonna need some of this. All right, so we got the uh, shotgun with the shotgun cartridges. The M4 with the Cal 5 Space 4.5 cartridge, the 11.91 with the 9 mil cartridge, and the hunting rifle with the 7.62 by 51. All right, so now we got those. We can go to the uh, reloading bench. Now this first one is our 9 mil, which is for the Colt 11.91, as they say it in the game. But if you look down here, it says for the G8 pistol, which is Glock 18. It's like a machine pistol, like a full auto pistol. And then you got the Tokarev TT-33 pistol, which is, it's weird. It's like, that's a 7.62 by, I don't know, 20-something. It's a Russian pistol that can't put a 9 mil inside of a TT-33. It's just not going to, it's not going to fit, you know. It's a lot bigger. So then you got the uh, rifle ammo. This is for your M4. Now it says loaded in a Dragon Dragunov rifle, which is like 7.62 by 54. It's a big ass round and then you got the m4 rifle which is normally 556 five, which is a whole lot smaller than that dragon off rifle so I don't, don't know what he's doing here um, but that's what you need so you have your 1191 here your rifle ammo is your m4 your 12 gauge is your shotgun and then the hunting rifle is the hunting rifle so we can go ahead and make uh, however many we got and we can also tell uh, Rachel to do this as well ooh cancel I need to make space I was about to really screw up because she was gonna start chucking those shells all over the place all right we're just gonna make our uh, M4 ammo ourselves. we're gonna have her make some uh, 12 gauge shells now you got the 12 gauge actually takes two uh, gunpowder per round so if you want to make a lot of shotgun rounds, you're going to be using a, a lot of uh, gunpowder. And then we're going to do our hunting rifle ammo while Rachel does the other stuff. All right, and then our ammo is done. So that's how you make ammo in the game. It's really confusing, but uh, once you understand what ammo goes with what, what shell casings go with what, then it's, it's not so bad. I just wish you would just put generic terms on this and not... Not try to get all technical because he's really, really confusing some people. And then if we want to upgrade this so we can make grenades, we need uh, 10 scrap, 6 iron ingots, 6 gears, and then uh, 2 of these military components. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we can make grenades. I also need scrap for these grenades. Let me get some scrap. The grenades take four gunpowder 
and then one grenade fragment, and then one metal scrap. For the most part, grenades are kind of worthless. Uh, they are kind of fun to use, but uh, it's really pointless. So we're just going to have... We're going to have Rachel go ahead and do that while we mess with these uh, broken weapon parts. Now for the broken weapon parts, you're going to need a level 3 workbench. And then this is a uh, level 1. You're going to need 10 planks, 6 scrap, and uh, 2 gears to make upgrade this to level 2. And then this one... To upgrade it to level 3, you're going to need 15 scrap, 4 gears, and 1 military component, which I got right here. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade this as well. Alright, so now we can fix these broken weapon parts, since we have a level 3 workbench. And then we're going to find them in these uh, two swords. Now we got a Colt 1191, which takes... Eight components, two scrap, and then a broken pistol, which I have right here. A broken pistol. I don't have a broken revolver. I just hadn't found one yet. But you see what it takes. 16 components and a broken revolver. The M4 takes eight scrap, four components, and then one of these. A broken assault rifle. And then your shotgun, 16 components, four scrap, and then a broken shotgun, which is right here. Now the hunting rifle is uh, 16 components and one broken hunting rifle, which is here. Now you have this this weapon part, which is stackable, which has no purpose in the game whatsoever. So you don't, I kind of collect them, but sometimes I just throw them away and I don't even bother with them. Until they have a use, it's kind of pointless. Because if you look at the picture, it's it's got a part from uh, 1911, it's got the bolt from a... Uh, the hunting rifle, it's got a sight from the M4, and a cylinder from the rifle. So it's just a mixed mash of pieces. And I have no idea what it's for right now, and maybe it'll tell us later. It's kind of like the blueprint, no, pur no purpose. So that's how you can make all the, the guns if you really want to you, uh, make them. Sometimes you may only find broken hunting rifles, you may have to do this if you want the hunting rifle. Alright y'all, so that pretty much went over how to make gunpowder, how to make your shell casings from the anvil, and then how to use the reloading bench to actually make the, the ammo itself and uh, also grenades. And then we went over the level 3 workbench so you can craft actual weapons from these broken weapon parts you find. And hopefully it'll clear up some of the confusion that people have when they're, when they're trying to make ammo with which shell casing to use uh, in the anvil. For each weapon. But I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.